proving circles similar. This is lesson 7.2b. We have two previous videos for chapter 7. If you get lost, you can watch them in the geometry playlist. So this is the second part of lesson 7.2. All circles are similar because they have the same shape. They're circles. And to prove this, it's helpful to use a dilation whose center of dilation is not 0, 0, the origin. And usually a dilation with center C and scale factor K, so that would be some point other than the origin, okay? And that would be our scale factor number, maps P, a point, to P prime. So that P prime is on segment CP, and CP prime is equal to K times CP. So if we have this point C and P, if we multiply it by the scale factor, it will equal C P prime. See? K times C P. Proving circles similar, we can prove that circle A, this little one here, with center 0, 0, that's right on the origin, and radius 1, so we can see it's one square unit, isn't it? Around the origin. Is similar to circle B with center 5, for x, 0 for y, and radius 2. So you can see there's two units away from its center. See? All the way around. So that's its radius. And circle A can be mapped to circle A prime over here by a translation, a slide. x, y would translate to x plus 5, y. And circle A prime and circle B both have a center of 5, 0 then circle A prime can be mapped to circle B by a dilation with that same center, 5, 0, and a scale factor 2. So circles A and B are similar because circle A can be mapped to circle B by a similarity transformation. We can prove that circle C with center negative 2, 0 and radius 2 is similar to circle D with center 4, 1, and radius 3. Circle C can be mapped to C prime by a translation. The x and y values would translate to x plus 6, y plus 1. So it would move over 6 and go up 1. And circle C prime and circle D both have a center of 4, 1. And circle C prime can be mapped to circle D by a dilation with center 4, 1 and a scale factor of 3 halves which is one and a half, isn't it? So you'd multiply the x and y values by one and a half once it was moved over to here to make it the same as D. So circle C and D are similar because circle C can be mapped to circle D by a similarity transformation. Now, Emma's designing a quilt with pattern blocks, and the middle block will be three times the size of each other block. So Emma will first draw the lower left block, then the middle block. So how can she draw these blocks? Well, she can place the lower left block on a coordinate plane in a convenient position. So she can draw it there. And she can plot the points of where it's at. A is at 2, 2, B is at 2, 5, C is at 5, 5, and D is at 5, 2. We applied the dilation with a center 0, 0, that's the center of dilation, and a scale factor of 3, because it's supposed to be 3 times the size. So that's our scale factor. And x and y will translate to 3x, 3y. So all of these ordered pairs are going to be multiplied by 3 each. Okay? The image a prime, b prime, c prime, d prime represents the middle quilt block. a prime is... 2 for x, 2 for y, multiplied by 3 to get a 6, 6. b prime is 2 for x, 5 for y, multiplied by 3 to get a 6 and a 15. See? This is multiplied, so we get a 15, 15. This is multiplied by 3, so we get a 15, 6. And those are the ordered pairs for the image, okay? So we can use transformations to determine whether two polygons are similar by determining whether one figure can be mapped to the other by a similarity transformation. And 
A similarity transformation, we learned this in the last video, is a composite. Remember, composite means it's made up of a bunch of things. It's a composite of one or more dilations and one or more congruence transformations. And congruence transformations are translations, that's slides, reflections, those are flips, and rotations, those are turns, okay? Our next lesson is 7.3a, and we're going to talk about angle-angle, side-side-side, and side-angle-side similarity before moving on to the second part of 7.3, which is proofs with similar triangles and properties of similarity, okay? I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next time. Bye.